Let's take a look at the standard algorithm for multiplication. I am sure many of you are familiar with this, but let's just refresh our memory. Here I have the number 312 times 45. We're not in a different base, just base 10. We begin in the ones place with the five, right? So we do five times two is 10. And the way we would do that, we'd write a zero. We might carry the one to the tens place. Then we have five times one is five, plus the one we carried is six. And then five times three is 15. And we would write that out. When we go to the next number, right? When we're gonna to go to the four here, the four is in the tens place. So we have to move over a place value, just like we did with the dots and boxes and start in the tens place. To do that, we put a placeholder or a zero. Some people put an X, I don't like the X at all. Um, you might even cross out what you carried before just so you don't get confused by that. So now we can start in the place value of 10. So we do four times two first, that's eight. And then we have four times one, that's going to be four. And then four times three, that's going to give us a 12. Now, the next thing we do, of course, is we have to add both of those lines of multiplic multiplication together to get our final answer. Zero, 14, carry the one. I have 10, carry the one for my final answer, 14,040. Let's see how that looks in other bases, but I want you to remember what happened. We have this place value issue and we have an addition issue. We're going to have to do all of that in another base without switching. Sometimes in class or even here on this video, I'll call it code switching, where your brain wants to go back and use base 10, but you have to remember, nope, I'm working in base two, I'm gonna stay there. So remember the multiplication chart in base two. It's pretty easy, right? The only one we have to memorize is one times one is one and zero times anything is zero. So that's fairly straightforward. So we start again in the ones place here with the one. And so we're just going to multiply one times one, one times zero, one times one, one times one. And the next, uh, in the next place over, uh, it's the twos place actually, or the second place value, we have a zero. So you can do a couple things there. If you like to write all the zeros, you would say like, well, first is my placeholder and then I multiply zero by all four digits and it would look something like that. Some of you might skip that line because it doesn't have any value anyway and I'm okay with any of those. Lastly, we go to the, to the third place value over which is actually the fourth place. Since we're the third one over, we have two placeholders. We have two zeros before we get started, right? And now I multiply one times one, one times zero, one times one, one times one, and so on. And I will get one, zero, one, and one. Now we have to add these together. What you have to remember though, is that we were, well, we are in base two. So these numbers down here are still base two numbers. And when we add them together, we have to treat it as base two. So let's see how that works out. Well, in the first line, right? We have one, zero, zero added together. It's pretty straightforward. That's going to just be one. And then zero plus zero plus zero is zero. And then one plus zero plus one, it's tempting to write two, but remember there is no two in base two. So it's one and one more. The next number is one zero. Remember the counting is one, one zero, one one, one zero zero, one zero one, and so on. Um, I can't stress it enough. If you can't count successfully, you won't be able to multiply. You won't be able to add. And it's true in any other base, just like it's true for the kids in elementary school in base 10. So we're adding one and one, and then we're getting to the number one zero. So the way I do that, I get to put a zero, carry the one. And then I have one plus one again is one zero, carry the one. One plus one is one zero, carry the one and one zero. Final answer there at the bottom. It's got a lot of zeros to it. Let's take a look at some other bases to see how that would work. Here is a, oh, let me zoom out. I'm a little funny in my zooming. This is a base four multiplication chart. So again, I'm not requiring you to memorize these facts just to use the chart, okay? So there, there it is in all its glory. So we would start in the ones place. And we have one times one is one, one times zero is zero, one times two is two, and one times three is three. That, sound, that feels just like base 10. Then we have a placeholder. On the next one though, we should be a little careful because we're going to be multiplying by a three. Okay, so that means we might want to look at this bottom line in our chart for all of our multiplication facts. Three times one, that's still three. Three times zero, that's zero. Three times two, ah, not six, right? There is no six in base four. So we can look at our chart and see that we're right here at one, two. So that's what I write. Two, carry the one. All right, now I have three times three. Three times three, here is two, one in the bottom corner. But remember the one we carried, two, one, and one more is two, two. So I write the number two, two down.
let's add those together in base four and get our final answer. All right, so here we have to know the count. And let's see, one plus zero is one, zero plus three is three, two plus zero is two, three plus two is mm, not five. I have to know how to count in base four. So three in my head plus two more. The next number after three, one zero, and then one one. So it's one carry the one, one plus two is three, and then two. Did you notice how I didn't code switch out of four? I stayed in base four throughout the entire problem. Let's take a look at one last example. This one's in base nine. Base nine is so close to base 10 that it's very tempting to get lured into thinking of it as base 10, but it's not. So starting uh, with a ones place, eight times three, I find that on my times chart. Notice it's two, six. By the way, it's also over here at two, six. You can find it in either spot. So I'm gonna do six, carry my two. And then I have eight times six. That is five, three, but I have to add in the two that I carried. So five, three, counting out loud, five, four, five, five. So that would be five, five. I'm gonna cross that out. Next, I'll put my placeholder on the next line. I have two times three, which is still six. So that looks familiar. And then two times six, um, which let's find that on the chart. Two times six right here, right, is one, three. So I'll write that down as one, three. Don't code switch. Right, don't go away from base nine. Very important. We're gonna add those together. Six plus zero is six. Six plus five, hmm, I'm in base nine. So I have to either five and add six more or six and add five more. I'm gonna start with a six in my head and count up five spaces using my fingers. Six, seven, eight, one, zero, one, 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 two. So there we go, two, carry the one. And then five plus three plus one, five, um, six, seven, eight, one, zero. And then one and one is two. All right, so final answer, two, zero, two, six.